Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this fabric from Dollar Tree and this hanging jar sign from Dollar Tree. I started by removing the raffia from the sign and sanding off a bunch of the glitter. And then I also like to use acetone nail polish remover and get off the remaining glitter that's still hanging on there. And then I wipe that off and give it one more quick sanding just to make sure it's all gone. And then I paint the front of that sign with hazelnut chalk paint and I gave it two coats and it will be covered but the fabric is really thin and I don't want any of those bright colors to be showing through. So I painted it with the chalk paint. Once it was dry, I opened up this honeycomb fabric from Dollar Tree and traced out the bottom section of the jar just below where the lid is. And then I cut out that piece of fabric and put Mod Podge on that bottom section again below where the lid is. Did a generous layer and then placed down my fabric and smoothed it out with my hands. And then I used my heating tool to dry that layer of Mod Podge and then did a layer on the outer part of the fabric Once it was dry, I just went around and trimmed up any excess fabric. Next, I'll be taking these small craft sticks, which I get from Dollar Tree, and I'll be making a little beehive. So what I do is just trace out the end of one of the craft sticks on the middle part, I'd say, of one of the other craft sticks, and then use Fisker shears to cut that trace mark out and sanded it so it was nice and round. So it just looks like the craft stick, just smaller. And then I do that again, making the next one a little bit smaller. And I just keep doing that until I have the beehive shape that I want. And then after I have all those trimmed up, I just set them aside for now. And I take these six buttons, three different sizes, two larger ones. I'll be gluing right together. And then the two medium ones, I'll glue on either end of those larger ones. And then these small buttons, I glue on the ends of the medium ones. So the two center ones glued together are the largest. On either end of those are the medium size and on the very ends are the smallest ones. So this will be the top of our little honey dipper we're making. And then I'll take this wood slice stick from Dollar Tree and glue it right to those buttons. And if you don't find the little sticks, you could also use the handle to one of the sponge brushes from Dollar Tree. And then I take the craft sticks, tape those down, and paint the honey dipper I made and those craft sticks with the hazelnut chalk paint. And I give those two coats. Once those are dry, I take the craft sticks and place them down on my fabric, largest to smallest, just to get the shape down before I glue it. And then I just use my hot glue to glue those into place. And then I take black acrylic paint and just paint a little circle on the bottom of the little hive to make the opening. And 
And then I take these stamps that I get from Hobby Lobby and my ink pad, and I'm going to be spelling out the word honey. I just place down each one, just making sure to push it all down nice and good to make sure it transfers onto the fabric. And then just keep doing that until I have my word spelled out. And then I hot glue down a couple of these tiny little bees that I get from Amazon right to that beehive. And then I use my heating tool to dry the ink just because I'll be working with it some more and don't want it to smudge. And then I take this piece of fabric that I get from Amazon and place that around the top of the jar and get it nice and tight and then hot glue it on the back just so it keeps its shape. And then I take some twine and wrap it around the lid of the jar. And I just wrap it around a bunch of times and then tie it in a knot off to one side on the front. After I have my knot made, I add the honey dipper right on top of that and then tie that in a couple knots and then a little bow and trim up the excess twine. And then I hot glued some of the twine down just a little bit to keep the bow in place and to keep those pieces of twine hanging down. And then I flip it over and hot glue down the twine that's on the back so it stays in place because I'll be adding my hanger right to that. I take more twine, tuck it under a piece of the twine on the back, and knot it a couple times. Leave some excess for the hanger and then tie it around the twine on the other side. And then just trim up those excess pieces and that is it. I think it turned out so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching.